We move now to Ron DeSantis, and more specifically, the way in which Fox News appears to be turning on him. If you remember for a while, uh, they had kind of become a PR machine for Ron DeSantis, just constantly hyping him up, trying to push him as a presidential candidate. It was rather noticeable. Um, they were still being positive toward Trump, but it was clear that if they could get people to jump on the DeSantis train, that would make them the most happy. You had Brian Kilmeade throwing the baseball with DeSantis in a sort of cringy segment, and one of the hosts in a diner desperately trying to find a DeSantis supporter. And then even the Who is Ron DeSantis documentary they did, which is just a puff piece. But now it seems like Fox News is kind of shifting their tone, noticing that Trump is sort of trouncing DeSantis in the polls and DeSantis is losing donors. So Fox News is getting themselves ready to be back exclusively pushing Trump propaganda if he ends up being the nominee. I want to walk you through a few examples of this tone shift from Fox. As a reminder, this is not notable because what they're saying is wild necessarily. It's because if you kept up with the coverage of anything DeSantis related previously, it seemed nearly all positive on Fox News. And now we're getting this. Here's a first Kellyanne Conway calls to different people because he wants to show them that I've done the job before I want to do the job again. Also, I think that Ron DeSantis has just frittered away so much of the last five and a half months talking about woke this and Disney that, not putting out an economic plan, not having serious policy people fly to Tallahassee en masse, uh, an economic group, an education group, a Ukraine group, a crime group, a border group. As if her former boss did that, but she mentioned DeSantis focusing too much on woke this and Disney that, which true i really do hope which i shouldn't because it won't happen but i really hope uh, republicans will start learning that the constant obsessing with being against wokeness or crt or demonizing trans people 24 7 it just isn't a viable long-term strategy set aside the ethics of it for now just purely the the strategy is deeply flawed you can scream about being against wokeness for a certain amount of time before enough people start realizing you aren't really putting forward actual policy to improve their life. Not everyone, obviously, unfortunately, because a large chunk of the GOP base, I'm sure, can vote based on the culture war nonsense until their final days, but enough of the American electorate will pick up on it and is picking up on it and will vote against Republicans. Uh, but they probably won't learn that lesson. Next example of this from Fox News, this tone shift. Take a look. Other candidate is not Chad. Neil, good afternoon. Ron DeSantis once led former President Trump, but now Trump is thumping a prospective field of 12 GOP contenders. A Wall Street Journal poll, poll of 600 likely GOP primary voters shows the former president at 48 percent. DeSantis, 24 percent. Republicans kept Trump at arm's length in 2016, but not now. So definitely not what DeSantis is wanting to see. On Fox News. And by the way, you probably remember, you've probably seen this clip. DeSantis does get pretty uncomfortable when he's confronted with the polling drops we've been seeing. Governor, I'll mm -hmm. show you falling behind uh, a Trump. Any thoughts on that? Guys, did not I'm, not, I'm not a candidate, so we'll see if, uh, if and when that changes. <laughs> I'm not a candidate. <laughs> very, very strange. And then the final example uh, we'll look at here. Charlie, is it normal for donors to be, they seem to be freaking out a little bit this early? On De DeSantis. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. When you suck, it does. It's normal. Excuse the language. That's hard. That's harsh language on a Friday. I mean, listen, it's Friday night. Okay. Yeah. Come on. Uh, but uh, let's look at it this way. Um, I've spoken to a lot of GOP donors. I speak to a lot of political consultants. And I said, you know, what is going on with Ron DeSantis? And he's mm -hmm. making every rookie mistake you can make. He's getting involved in unforced error stuff that he doesn't need to be involved in. He did not have to do that abortion thing. Now, whether wherever you come out, that was an unforced error. He could have. It's not going to gain him any votes. He definitely should not have done that six-week abortion ban. But this could change, and that's a noticeable shift. And it all could change the tides, a uh, shift, obviously, but. What I kind of see going on here, my perception of this, is when DeSantis was in Florida, his perfect little PR bubble as governor, all of his events as governor are nicely scripted and produced, and Fox News is running a bunch of PR pieces for him, he was experiencing overly inflated poll numbers. People in the GOP 
liked the idea of DeSantis. But now, as he actually gets out there, he's doing more campaigning style events in less familiar situations. Trump is really going after him and Fox News isn't as sweet to him. We're getting a sense of his actual popularity within the GOP primary base. And unfortunately, it continues to be true that the Republican Party is a Trump or Trumpism party. Not that we would want DeSantis either, but Trump really does have such a hold on the party. And uh, that's disturbing. Quickly, despite what uh, I just walked through, reportedly, DeSantis is preparing to announce his run for president here from NBC News. Florida Governor Ron DeSantis is poised to jump into the uh, presidential fray as soon as mid-May for GOP operatives familiar with the conversations told NBC News. One of the sources emphasized that it would be an exploratory committee with the official launch coming soon after. So we'll see how it all turns out uh, for, as Trump calls him, Meatball Ron. You can find me on Instagram, Luke Beasley Official.